Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, this is not normal. <laughs> I usually don't sound like a frog. Um, if you have been here before, I'm glad you're back and I'm sorry for the absence. Obviously, I've been sick. <laughs> um, this is an interesting little read that I did. Um, during the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, I channeled for over 13 straight hours, did all 12 signs, very super long readings. Um, I got into some weird Sabian symbol stuff and some spells for you guys and all kinds of craziness. 13 decks of cards. It was nuts. All right. And the readings were super long and like they did not get a lot of views because YouTube does not like to plug long videos. They're on to shorts now. So I just wanted to make sure that you got these very special messages. I had done a, you know, full general energy check with the Slavic cross. I did full hoodoo tarot warning messages. I did uh, you versus them love connection. I did oracle pulls, um, something else. I don't remember, but there's lots. All right. So I'm going to be reposting these into shorter, more manageable videos to make sure that you guys got all your messages. I worked really hard to curate these 13 decks. Please check out the original reading because I feel like for continuity purposes, it works better when you watch it all together because I reference back and forth to things during the reading that happened prior, you know. Um, and also make sure that you check out the extended where I read to you from all of these lovely, beautiful books that we used for your read. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. Um, and give you all the oracle messages and special meanings and things like that, okay? If you guys would like to support my channel or book a personal reading, donate, whatever, I would greatly appreciate it right now as I am not doing well. <laughs> um, all that info is in the description box below. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy your reading. Here you go. Here is your short but sweet you versus them past, present, future love connection read. All right, now onto your love connection. Straight no clarifiers because, you know, there's 12 signs and these have been an hour long or more for all of them. All right, so let's get the past, present, and future energies between Leo and their person as well as towards the connection. Show me Leo and their person's energy currently, previously, and in the future. Show me what Leo needs to see. All right, recent past on the first side. Five of Wands came in with drama, maybe attached to more than one person with the world. Wanting to end that drama though, all right? Also, whatever situation they were in previously before you had a lot of drama, this person also could be possibly dealing with a you know baby daddy, baby mama situation that is never ending they try to hold it together for the kids but it's getting to be very taxing here this though is like somebody having to shoulder everything in the recent past somebody was feeling overwhelmed like they were you know chasing their tail they wanted that energy to come to an end that's why they showed up to this connection things were out of their control they realized that they were like spinning out of control heading for disaster some of them were looking for a bailout i'm just going to say it Five of Wands, they, you know, they can't handle themselves. They're doing some petty stuff, and that's led to some kind of an ending. And now they literally can't, like, support their own dang kid. They're shouldering this giant, you know, what looks like a pentacle. Now we got the Seven of Cups. This is shitty energy. I'm just going, why are you going to sugarcoat it? But the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody doesn't want to know how bankrupt they are. You know, somebody's lying about money here. Somebody's also using their emotions to make somebody feel, you know, very lonely, all right? They're also trying to make somebody feel very guilty about something. There's a lot of lies and there's a lot of pettiness and drama and things going on with whoever this is. They go from the Five of Wands to the Seven of Cups. Both of those are maddening energies. They're both very high school gossipy girl energies. They're energies about, you know, having no kind of clarity, you know, creating unnecessary problems, creating unnecessary drama and chaos. That's here though. This 
person feels empty, all right? It's like they have a void that cannot be filled and they stir up conflict, all right? And when the conflict doesn't work and they don't get the ending that they want here, now they're gonna prey on the emotional part. They're either gonna be very manipulative or withholding with their emotions or you know they're just not offering them at all. Or all the ones they are offering are empty you know, promises. In your future, sun in the reverse. Big shocker, all right? If you're coming in, you know, stirring up trouble, you're wanting to, you know, break something up or end something, then you're, you know, creating emotional confusion on purpose, threatening abandonment, trying to prey on somebody's abandonment issues. Of course, you're getting sun in reverse. Unhappy with the moon, upright. Came in confused, leaving more confused. They're getting progressively worse here. This relationship, all right, when y'all entered into it, take those resonates. I don't know whose side this is. Whoever I'm talking about over here, they needed to enter into this relationship to learn how to be in a mature relationship, to put an end to childishness, all right, to put an end to that five of wands energy that is like petty, stupid, unnecessary, childish drama. That needed to come to a stop, and this connection was the impetus for that, or like the, the platform to do that with. Instead of taking advantage of that and learning how to, you know, be less dramatic or to make things harder than they need to be, we're now getting into an even more ridiculous energy with that seven of cups and the five of pentacles. This is like if we're not getting our emotions met and our needs met, we're going to make things intentionally confusing for somebody, make them feel, you know, concerned. This is probably why you're having all that sense of urgency about needing to do something here in this lover's energy that we were talking about. Because they're making you feel like they're gonna leave. They're giving you mixed signals. They're you know threatening abandonment. They're and they're they're convincing. That's gonna backfire, all right? They're trying to create all this confusion with the seven of cups, and they're ending up in the near future with that amplified. Anything you do during Scorpio season, all right? Well, first of all, anything you do ever has you know an equal opposite reaction or whatever. But when you do it during Scorpio eclipse season, and during these times where they're like calling in judgment left and right, then you can expect the repercussions to be threefold, all right? As way worse than they were. Also, I want to tell you right now that somebody might be lying about a pregnancy, all right? Sun in reverse with the moon, that's a lie about a baby, literally. Sun is the baby and it's upside down. Or it's an unwelcome pregnancy. Seven of Cups energy, that is somebody who would trick you into a baby. Be careful, this person was dramatic coming in. They were looking for a means to an end about something. And it has to deal with a child and that being a burden. So either they have children already that they can't take care of or the fact that they don't have kids is eating at them, okay? Current situation, uh, recent past was the lovers in the reverse towards the connection. They didn't choose to do this on a high spiritual level. They didn't make a sound decision here. They didn't enter into this freely, all right, and openly like the lovers would. They entered into it by force. They forced themselves to because they couldn't handle, you know, whatever was going on here, and they just wanted it to stop. So they made any decision, and it was, you know, to do this. Current situation towards the connection, the Ace of Wands. They stoke your emotions. They try to make you feel things. They drum up confusion. They're trying to ignite a spark within you, and that's not a great thing to do to a Leo. And again, maybe this is your energy. Again, take it as it resonates. It's the, it's the stitch I'm feeling. Someone now, all right, because they're feeling these abandonment issues and they don't know where their feelings lie, now they just want to, you know, turn it on even more. Ace of Wands, they want to love bomb. They want to, you know, convince somebody. They want to entice somebody. Empress in the reverse. Big shocker there. And the death in the reverse is on the bottom for them. They repeat this cycle over and over and over and over again, making irresponsible choices in love, using relationships as a means to an end to an uncomfortable situation, using it as an escape, all right, or a scapegoat, or how to, you know, instead of dealing with their own problems and manning or womaning up and, you know, doing what needs to be done, they expect somebody else to come pick up the pieces. That's going to fail miserably, all right, because towards this connection, Empress in the reverse, we're, we're, we're dying. It's dying out. It's not going to work. All right, other side. We have the King of Cups here. Chariot in the reverse. This here, all right? I feel like this is you. 
because you are you are the one that I kept picking up on going too fast, heading for a disaster, chariot energy. You need to protect yourself. You're not. You feel like you've got this in the bag, but you don't. This was highly emotional for you, okay? You're the king of cups. You did love this person. You felt love back, and you wanted to show that. Even though you were scared to do this, you knew that this was a literal train wreck, all right? Cancer energy chariot reverse. This is, you know, you feel like you couldn't win and you feel like you weren't getting anywhere. You felt like things were going too slow. There was love here and you wanted to express it and you didn't care. I feel like a lot of you guys jumped into this very quickly. There's a lot of feelings, all right? But it's like, this is complete, cancer energy is meant to protect you like a mom. This is ignoring all these red flags that this person was throwing off. They entered in with five of wands energy, like, like petty energy. Now you got the three of wands in the current situation with the six of wands in the reverse. This is you jumping through hoops to try to please this person. They don't feel fulfilled. They feel like something's missing. They feel like they're being abandoned. So they're intentionally creating emotional drama because they want ace of wands. They want that spark back. They want initiation. They want attention. So your response to that is the three of wands to give it to them, to go in their direction, to feed their ego. Look how fake she looks here. I read art. She's pretending like she's passing out. All these men are fawning all over her. This person plays the victim. They, you know, pull on heartstrings. You know, they, they sing a sad little song. And Leos protect their pride. Leos are, you know, valiant and courageous. They do, you know, uphold a regal fair, you know, just type of energy. The good ones do, at least. You feel bad for this person, all right? You run to this whenever they start doing all this, you know, ridiculousness. Six of Wands in reverse, because it's like, you feel, every time you do this and you go back and you try to patch it up or fix it or, you know, calm things down or gain some clarity and help them clear their head, you can't win. Six of Wands in reverse, it's never enough. Three of Wands, no matter how many ships you bring to this person, no matter how much you move in their direction, how much you communicate, how much you pay attention to them, how much you bring home, whatever, it's never enough. Six of Wands in reverse, they never see your worth, they never see your value, you feel like you're just spinning your wheels here, trying to no end, constantly getting nowhere, like you feel unappreciated, but instead of giving up, all right, you try more, because that's what a Leo does. They're like, you're going to see how awesome I am, all right, or I'm going to die trying to prove it to you. That's where we're at with this one. In your future, here you are, Knight of Pentacles. You're in it, all right? You just want to, you know, help this person gain control. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Is your codependent on them for something? Why? Why do you feel the need to save this person? Somebody, you feel the need to save them, it feels like. Because they're miserable coming up. Sun in reverse and the moon, it's like suicidal energy. That is like, you know, destitute, desperate, delusional and you see, you know, towards the connection, they're showing the empress in the reverse. They hate themselves, all right? They can't take care of themselves. They're failing miserably, like they're deteriorating, dying off. And you wanna run in and rescue them, Knight of Pentacles. You're like, let me help you with this. That's your issue. Why are you, you know, taking care of their drama? Because it's all self-created with this energy. They're doing it to themselves. So why are you bailing them out? You're enabling at this point. Towards the connection in the recent past. Full in reverse. What did I say? You jumped in like an idiot. It felt good, all right? The feelings felt good. This person is an emotionally manipulative monster. They know exactly what to say with that seven of cups to make you feel sorry for them or to make you feel, you know, the need to save them. It's, it, it's a sympathy getter, but it's all false. It's manufactured. But man, do they have your number, all right? They know exactly what will set you off and get you to come running and play the hero. They want that kind of energy. They want to be saved, all right? And that's a messed up energy. Save yourself, all right? Towards the connection, there's a dang devil in the reverse. You cannot shake this. Why are you so obsessed with trying to, you know, straighten them out? It looks to me like all they do is bring drama, all right? But you're obsessed with this energy. All right, some of you, this might be a very you know, strong sexual connection that you are having a hard time saying no. Yeah, here's a Knight of Cups. You're going towards this broke-ass Empress who looks miserable and delusional. A lot of you guys like are Captain save -ho energy. You're going to end up regretting it. Five of Swords. You might win them back in this instance, all right? You might, you know, 
quell the storm, you know, temporarily, but you're fighting a losing battle. That's what Five of Swords is. You'll win right now, but the war you will lose. You'll win this little tiny battle, but you will win. You will lose the war. All right, that's what they're trying to tell you with this. If you proceed down this, if you intend on committing to this permanently and seeing it through, you will lose this war and you will regret it, okay? That is your love connection reading, Leo. Oof, that was rough. I hate seeing people getting taken advantage of and that is you appear strong and like you have your stuff together. You know how to love this person, King of Cups. You know how to make them feel good and they love that, all right? They thrive on that. So when they don't get that, they'll stir up drama and try to, they're very insecure. So they create um, imaginary problems, all right, to try to gain sympathy and to keep you in place, stuck in the mud with them. All right. We have Thank you guys so much for tuning into the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys would like to book your own personal reading um, or donate to the channel or check out this original read in its entirety, with my masterful 13 deck channeled crazy eclipse read. Please do that. All those links are in the description box below. Love you guys. And I promise to get my voice back to better and on the mend. Uh, catch you next time. Bye.